not subscribe to our channel you can do so by clicking the subscribe button as shown above hello friends welcome to kamath astrology in today's video i am going to talk about the heavy activation of the bharani nakshatra starting from 16th july 2022 now what is so special about this date on 16 july 2022 Mars who was transiting in the Ashwini nakshatra in the sign of Aries is now going to enter into the Bharani nakshatra in the sign of Aries where Rahu is already present where Uranus is already present so three planets are going to be together in the Bharani nakshatra that is Mars Rahu and Uranus and this will definitely have a great impact a great transformation in the times ahead so in this video let us analyze the impact of all these three planets coming together in the bharani nakshatra on the world and what we can expect in the times ahead due to this so this is the chart as on 16 july 2022 around 8:16 am when mars enters into the bharani nakshatra and you can see the brown square there which represents the sign of aries where you have mars rahu and uranus together represented by the letters ma ra and ur now first thing let us understand that aries is a fire sign it represents the fire element and aries has three nakshatras in it ashwini bharani and kritika now the bharani nakshatra represents a birthing process it is represented by a woman who is about to give birth to a child and we know that giving birth to a child is a very difficult process a person has to undergo a lot of labor pain before giving birth to a child so bharani nakshatra represents a transformation the bharani nakshatra is ruled by venus or shukra who also represents the semen and its deity is yama the god of death the god of transformation so bharani nakshatra represents death it represents birth it represents transformations now yama is the deity who gives us the fruits of our karmas once we leave this material body in other words yama is the brother of shani or saturn who gives us the fruits of our karmas while we are on this earth now another interesting part is right now saturn is retrograde and he has entered the sign of capricorn on 12 july 2022 now in the sign of capricorn there is a planet called pluto present in vedic astrology the rishi ved vyas called pluto as yam and yam is nothing but the planet of transformation yam breaks down the hierarchical structures the boundaries and it represents rising from the ashes so pluto or yama represents transformation he represents the underworld he represents transformation through death and right now you can see shani has gone into capricorn where he is going to meet pluto capricorn itself is the natural 10th house in the zodiac belt which represents karma and as i explained earlier both these planets give us the fruits of our karmas one gives before death and the other gives it after death so this is a very karmic event it is a time when a lot of karmic justice will be done across the world there will be a strong birthing process which is going on right now which means there is going to be a lot of pain before this transformation actually occurs now as i explained earlier the nakshatra of bharani is ruled by venus venus represents comforts and luxuries venus also represents jealousy now when rahu 
मार्स एंड युरानस आर इन द भरणी नक्षत्रा वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन फर्स्ट थिंग इज राहू डज नॉट बिलीव इन एधियरिंग टू रूल्स राहू रिप्रेजेंट्स ब्रेकिंग द बाउंड्रीज मार्स इज अवर पॉवर मार्स इज अवर एग्रेशन मार्स इज अवर एबिलिटी टू टेक एक्शन मार्स इज अवर करेज एंड वेन मार्स कम्स इन कंजंक्शन विथ राहू दिस करेज दिस पॉवर दिस एग्रेशन गेट्स एम्प्लिफाइड Now, because this is happening in Yama's nakshatra, Yama represents rules, Yama represents boundaries, and Rahu and Mars together are going to do something which is going to break those boundaries. Now, what happens when you break the boundaries in the Bharani nakshatra? Yama starts doing justice. Yama will give you the punishment for breaking those boundaries, and therefore. lot of pain is going to come with that punishment similarly you can see saturn is with pluto in the sign of capricorn and capricorn represents the government the economy pluto represents breaking down of hierarchical structures old structures and transforming them in order to give rise to new structures so the combination of saturn and pluto also represents a birthing process but this birthing process with saturn and pluto are going to bring is by breaking down governments by creating problems in the economy so that something better evolves in the times ahead now as i said the nakshatra of bharani is ruled by venus venus represents the glamour industry he also represents the film line Bharani nakshatra represents jealousy Bharani nakshatra represents secrets and when planets like Mars and Rahu enter this nakshatra all these secrets are going to come out so certain secrets related to very important film personalities are going to come out in this time period and this is going to be a sudden event because Uranus represents suddenness so very soon in the days to come you might find some kind of karmic justice being done to a film star who was killed in an unjust way few years back i don't want to name that star you can guess who that star was now another thing the sign of aries is the first sign in the zodiac belt it represents something new now rahu represents breaking the boundaries mars represents fire rahu is like the oil added to fire what happens when you add oil to fire it further inflames the flames rise higher now uranus is also there who represents suddenness who represents aeroplanes who represents aircrafts who represents the aerospace industry so this combination highly activates the fire element mars and rahu themselves represent armed conflict terrorist activities uranus represents suddenness and eccentricity so across the world post 16 july 2022 you will find an increase in the fire element that is an increase in armed conflict increase in disturbances by terrorists and mars also represents the army the army will also take the necessary action so the fire element is heavily activated and terrorist activities will increase because of this airplane crashes can also increase airplanes may suddenly catch fire mid air because of this combination on 16 july 2022 the sun enters the sign of cancer and saturn therefore directly aspects the sun sun and saturn mutually aspect each other you can see the purple line saturn's third aspect falls on neptune and jupiter in the sign of pisces saturn's 10th aspect falls on ketu so you can see saturn is impacting the sun he is impacting jupiter he is also impacting ketu now whatever planet saturn aspects its significations slightly start decreasing and jupiter represents finances jupiter represents optimism jupiter represents hope jupiter represents our belief system on 29 july jupiter is going to go retrograde in the sign of pisces saturn is also retrograde so after 29 july retrograde saturn will aspect retrograde jupiter 
Jupiter is our belief system, Saturn is our karma and therefore a retrograde Saturn and a retrograde Jupiter post 29 July will make us introspect ourselves, question our own beliefs and see where we have gone wrong and what remedial action we can take. Retrograde Saturn will also do karmic justice which means this combination of Mars, Uranus, Rahu as well as Saturn, Pluto is going to bring about a major transformation in some area of your life. Now this could be your career because Saturn also represents the natural 10th house of Capricorn. He is the lord of Capricorn. So this retrograde Saturn can bring about a major transformation in your career or it can also bring about a transformation in your finances, in your relationships because Jupiter represents finances, Jupiter represents optimism, Jupiter represents the good things in our life. And the sign of Aries represents the beginning of new relations. So with Mars, Rahu, Uranus present there, a sudden transformation can come in some relationship in your life. It could be a relationship with your brother, sister, girlfriend, mother, father. Depending on your individual horoscope, certain area of your life will definitely transform post 16 July 2022. Now, Saturn and Pluto aspecting the Sun indicates that the hierarchical structures, the government, the economy is going to shake and this Saturn-Pluto combination is going to bring about a lot of pain and as I see it because retrograde Saturn is aspecting Jupiter, this is going to bring about a major recession in the times ahead. Saturn aspecting Ketu with its 10th aspect shows that if you serve humanity, if you serve the poor, then you will be doing good karma and you will be getting good results. Now Saturn aspecting the Sun in the sign of Cancer, Mars aspecting the Sun in the sign of Cancer, Jupiter aspecting the Sun in the sign of Cancer shows a major impact on the government and the people in authority and power. The sign of Cancer represents India's borders, it represents India's neighboring countries and because Saturn and Pluto are aspecting this Sun, there is going to be major problems for the government of India as well as in our neighboring countries as well as on our borders post 16 July 2022. So slowly the events will shape up and you will see these things happening. Now Saturn is also aspecting Neptune and Jupiter in the sign of Pisces. The Pisces is the natural 12th house in the zodiac belt which represents isolation, which represents confinement, it represents spiritual waters and it is Jupiter's own house. But now this Jupiter-Neptune combination is receiving Saturn's aspect. The sign of Pisces is a water sign. It represents the water element. Neptune is known as Varun. He represents the god of the ocean. Jupiter represents storms. Jupiter represents winds. So on the high seas, on the water element, you will see a lot of activity, a lot of storms, a lot of cyclones and a lot of rainfall in this time period which will cause floods. Jupiter-Neptune combination in the sign of Pisces gives floods. So this gets further aggravated once Saturn starts aspecting this combination. So friends, I am not trying to scare you, I am not trying to create fear, but this is what the planetary combinations indicate right now. And I have just tried to bring this in front of you, clearly explaining every combination and why this is most likely to happen. Now, is there a positive side to this? Definitely all this is happening so that a better society is created in the future for our next generation. Now in this birthing process, we might suffer a lot. Many of us may even leave this earthly plane because of the transformation that is going to happen. But definitely it is going to create a better world for our next generations. Now Pisces is the natural 12th house. 
इट रिप्रेजेंट स्पिरिच्युअलिटी इट रिप्रेजेंट्स आयसोलेशन अँड देर इज अ गुरु प्रेझेंट देअर देर इज अ टीचर प्रेझेंट देअर सरेंडर टू दॅट गुरु लिसन टू हिम टेक हिज ॲडवाइस मेडिटेट अँड प्रे रेग्युलरली प्रे टू लॉर्ड शिवा अँड यू विल बी सेफ ड्युरिंग दिस टाईम पिरियड increase the time you spend in prayer increase the time you spend in meditation increase the time you do humanitarian activities and definitely this transformation will be good for you so friends the bharani nakshatra is heavily activated right now the fire element is heavily activated the water element is also heavily activated because of jupiter and neptune and definitely major transformations are coming our way So friends if you like this video please mark it as liked on YouTube for any consultations email us at astrosevaworld@yahoo.com and we'll be glad to assist you if you have not subscribed to our channel you can do so by clicking the subscribe button to know more about us visit our website astroseva.tripod.com so friends thanks a lot bye take care and i wish all of you stay very safe in the times ahead